Welcome to my Todoist tutorial on the basics. In this week's episode, we are going to be discussing the tasks on how you can add those to Todoist no matter what project or inbox or today view you want to enter it in and all the different uh, things that can be associated with tasks such as labels, projects, whether that be a priority, a date and timestamp, or what have you. So let's get started in this tutorial. So here you see I have the today view. Right now I have nothing in my today tasks. Um, it says for me to enjoy my day because apparently I've completed everything. So yay for me, but not really. So here we go. I'm going to add me a task now. There's several ways, like I have showed you in previous episodes, that you can do such. You can just be in the inbox and add a task if you have no idea what uh, project it's going to go into. So let's say I want to uh, um, wash my car tomorrow at noon. Okay, and as I have explained in other episodes, basically it's going to do a, what is called a date and time parse where it is going to parse the time and date out of what you wrote in here intelligently telling itself that hey this is when I want to schedule this task okay once I hit add task this information here will move over here into the schedule and it will schedule it for that date and time now a few other things I want to go over on the task that I'm entering here there's several things I can do as well I can also if I choose if I know where I want to put this task if I want to know what project I want to put it into I can go ahead and click on this and go ahead and select that and it'll put that there as well so whenever I hit add task it'll disappear out of my inbox and wind up in my personal project for this one that I have selected now another thing you can also utilize is labels uh, I do not have any labels set up yet and we will go over that at another time okay Another thing you have here is reminders. You can set reminders for this task. You can set a priority for this task and a quick note and comments concerning this task. Other things you can also do is you can create subtasks and parent tasks, which we will go over at a later date. So let's say, for instance, on this one where I'm saying I want to wash my car tomorrow, if I can spell, at noon right and let's say I want that in my personal projects right because that's where I want to go now if you notice I didn't hit here I just typed in the pound sign the pound sign will also pull up um, a list of projects that you can choose from okay so now I've gone and put this in here and I go ahead and I hit add tasks now if you notice poof it's not in here because it has gone over here to um, my task of course this is the one I did earlier when I was goofing around so now it's got my car uh, wash my car in here tomorrow 12 yada 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 now if you also notice when I click on the parent project because this is a child project here hobbies and I have a personal project here which is the parent if I click on it it's going to also highlight the hobbies underneath that and we will go into more details on projects at a later time now back to the inbox so you know you can uh, enter stuff in the inbox today or the next seven days let's say for instance though I wanted to edit this task maybe I've, I've changed my mind and said no you know tomorrow at noon something else is coming up that's more important I want to schedule that till uh, next week sometime well you can do it a matter of different ways. You can go ahead and click in here and you can go in and click here and choose um, a suggested date, whatever uh, to do as things is uh, probably a good day for you, uh, depending on your schedule. And also it'll have a uh, today in here or you can schedule for tomorrow, next week, uh, in one month or have no due date at all. So, or you can just pick your date, you know. So let's say I want to change that. Maybe I say, you know what, I'm just going to change that to the 25th. Maybe the 25th at noon I'll have time to do that. 
and I have a reminder set for 30 minutes before that's usually the default for reminders so I have that set as well and so what then I can do is hit save and now it's no longer my tomorrow view it's now in Tuesday's view where I decided that I wanted to move that task to so now as you see there's several different ways but what if I just wanted to do this and move this and move it to Monday well look at that that might be even easier huh instead of just typing in there maybe in my seven day view I say you know what no I'm gonna just move it down to Thursday so you move it down to Thursday and it moves right along so as you can tell there's so many different ways you can um, move your task around enter your tasks uh, put different types of uh, labels on them or projects uh, and associate them with that you can do all kinds of stuff as you see this is a, in the personal project where this is where I put it right but I can click on that it takes me to my personal projects I can do all kinds of different things with tasks um, depending on what I need now let's say for this wash my car here on this task well what if I want to add a note here I can click on that little um, I don't know bubble quotation type of bubble thing that you might see in comics or something not really sure but anyways you can click on that and go in here to uh, to tasks and you can go ahead and create yourself a comment say um, only mm, do it by hand car wash or whatever it is you want to write and then you hit add task and now I've got that in there and so when I hit here I say when it comes to that day or maybe if I'm reviewing this on my weekly review I say huh wash my car well I don't remember what else I was going to do but I left myself a note here so I can open that up and say oh yeah I don't want to send it through one of those automatic car washes I want to do it by hand so now this kind of reminds me so there's different kinds of things that you can do with uh, tasks in order to make it easier for yourself to be more productive now of course um, in tasks you can also uh, create a priority label which makes this uh, priority one red and so it's like hey this is the most important task right here hello look at this um, also you can set it for priority two or three or four also in here you can archive the task move uh, to another project duplicate it link to task and delete tasks so there's different things you can do you can hit edit task here which is just taking you right back in here so you can hit here get in there or you can go here and hit edit task I just find it a lot easier just to click in here I'm already there why do I need to go elsewhere but these are the different things that you can do with tasks now in the other episodes that we're going to be going over, we're going to be going over projects, labels, and filters, and how to utilize all of those together. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful and productive week, and take care.